You know, I still can't get over it. My mother. Just locking me up like some dangerous thing. Shore's bones. I was her daughter. <sighs> I'm sorry. Sometimes I just can't help thinking about it. Let's keep moving. I'll be fine. Well, you being a part of a secret death cult is kind of exciting. It's also somewhat ironic, if you think about it. Imagine this on a book cover. The tales of Serana and her charming companion, who was also a stealthy assassin. Something I definitely want to read. <sighs> Growing up back on the island, I barely left the castle. Most of my knowledge from the outside world came from books. However, most of even that is sadly out of date, by at least several centuries. Talk about a fish out of water. That's why I need you to show me around this wonderful land. Be a good guide for this old relic. Oh, I was just thinking. You really stand out, you know that? A little bit like a Nern root, really. Very annoying at times. But also... Quite rare. <laughs> Please do look around. And sure precious. And like the Nern root, people tend to underestimate you. A measly ten septums. But not me. I can spot a treasure when I see one. <sighs> I could use some rest from all the adventuring. It's good to finally have a bed to sleep in, not just a bedroll. Beds. Beds feel so good. That'd be a good idea. We wouldn't have to walk as much. Why would you want to hire a bard? Don't you already have one in front of you? But hey, they definitely liven up the atmosphere. I know how to play the lute and sing, but I'd rather not do that all the time. It's a bit... Quaint, but there's definitely everything we need here. An alchemy table, storage, and some ingredients. Honestly, I can't wait to try out some new potion recipes in here. And hopefully I don't blow this place up. I was just thinking, how would I describe you to someone who's never met you? Fearless? Clever? Dashing? No. I think it's your kindness that really sets you apart, actually. You always try to help people, and it's uncanny how you can always tell when someone needs your aid, too. I never did get how. I have, actually. Have you ever read The Herbalist Guide to Skyrim? Oh, well then you should. It's a reference for all things alchemical in the land of Skyrim. Well, at least most of the big ones. Jazz Bay, Bleeding Crown, Nern Root, Death Bell. So many different types of ingredients and properties. It's truly fascinating. The illustrations are so vivid, and pretty accurate too. Forgive me, I get carried away when I talk about these things. I read it after you brought me back home for the first time. The castle certainly hasn't aged well, but at least someone's been updating our family library. This book was on my rather long reading list, because, you know, I only have a thousand years worth of catching up to do. Both fun and not fun. Even for a bookworm such as myself, this was quite overwhelming. You know, life could always be better. Fewer people out to get me. Skies without dragons. Skyrim's weather. <sighs> oh well, won't even get started on that one. But I'm still grateful for two things in my life. Good books and good wine. Well, alright. Maybe three things. Good books, wine, and you. <laughs> 